morning, sir. Yes, good morning. Good morning, all of you. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay, just wait. I'm starting. Okay, so good morning, all of you. So to know that uh, we have discussed in our previous classes, uh, this is the transducer part. Okay, uh, in the previous class we have uh, given that is the idea, basic idea of the transducer. Okay, what is the basic definition of the transducer? Uh, what is the applications of this transducer? What is the basic classification of this transducer? Okay, and also we have discussed what is the basic uh, selection. That means advantage, advantage. Why you are use this transducer in our different applications of your work. Okay, so in your syllabus, there are different types of transducers are available, okay? So that means temperature measurement sensors or transducers, that is velocity, speed, pressure, acceleration, etc. So today, today we will discuss uh, previously that is the active and passive transducer, okay? So previous classes, we have classified this transducer basically into four categories. So first of all, we have to know, uh, I just recall one of uh, the previous one, then we have to continue. So first you have to know what is the transducer. You know that transducer, it is basically one of the device which is converts the energy from one form to another form, okay? So, my whiteboard is visible? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So transducer. So you know that uh, the definition of the transducer, basically transducer is a device which convert one form of energy into another form into another form. that means this transducer is basically converts uh, the non-electrical energy into the electrical energy that means uh, it given non electrical energy is converted into an electrical energy. So please note down these definitions also. This is a basically uh, basic information of the definition of the transducer. So electrical energy. So transducer basically one of the device which is basically converts one form of energy into the another form. And basically we have to tell this transducer basically a non-electrical energy. It is converted into the electrical energy. So in our application, in the different different application oriented, to know that this transducer it is changes one energy form to the another, another energy form into the in our application that is the electrical appliance. That means when you have to use any resistance, you have to changes different resistance, inductance, capacitance, etc. So these are the basically uh, categories in the electrical energy. Okay, is it clear all of you? So basically we have to classify, that is the classification into two categories. First one is the active transducer. And number two is the passive transducer. 
so this two type basically transducer we have to use is our practical oriented application okay so now today we will discuss on the matter of active and passive transducer okay so i just go the next uh, page so first active transducer any idea what is active transducer anyone please tell me okay active transducer basically it is a basically one of the device which convert that is non electrical energy into the electrical energy by itself that means self generating okay so this self generating a transducer it is basically called the active transducer so first of all you have to know what is active transducer active transducer basically a device which converts the non electrical energy to the electrical energy by itself or self generating okay so this device it is called the active transducer so now one point is very clear so this active transducer you know that this is basically uh, little bit changes of the output so please remember this thing also so i am written the definitions also uh that is a it is a device which converts the given non electrical energy into electrical energy by itself or self generating please mention it it is the basically main point that is self generating or itself okay okay so you know that this self generating type transducer it is basically called the active transducer okay so examples you know that there are different types of examples are available that means uh, in our practical oriented we have to use as thermocouple thermocouple okay the thermocouple it is used for the temperature measurement okay it is a temperature measurement when we have to read that uh, in descriptive type of temperature measurement this device we have to uh, broadly explain what is the thermocouple why that is the what is the principle of operation thermocouple what is the advantage disadvantage application etc so this thermocouple it is basically active transducer another 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 it is also available tacho generator and i think all of you please uh, see in this tacho generator what is tacho generator anyone please tell me use is present use what is tacho generator and why what matlab what is the application of tacho generator anyone anyone please tell me am i audible no yes one? sir okay so this tacho generator it is basically measured for the angular velocity so that means it is measured Uh, angular velocity that means motor motor is rotating okay the motor is rotating the speed when you have to any measurement the speed of the motor so this tacho generator you have to use this okay so this tacho generator is basically classified under the active transducer another one piezo electric That is a piezo electric crystal. One minute, I will be slightly disturbing.
So, piezoelectric crystal. Okay, this piezoelectric crystal is basically used for the measurement. of force okay so these are basically examples of the active transit okay so please note down it it is very much important okay is it clear after this part it is clear no one is yes, confirmed so please, everyone, please respond me. Otherwise, I am not able to, you are in, understand or not. So, matlab, yes, sir, ye bolne se agar aap ko matlab, yeah, Okay, so I think it is clear. So we have to go next, another, that is the passive transition. Passive transition. And this passive transduce is very much important in our uh, daily life. That is a daily life application. Thing. Okay. So first of all, you have to know what is a passive transducer. Basically, it is a device which converts the given non electrical energy into electrical energy by external force external force Okay, so this device it is basically called the passive transducer. That means when you have to working in a passive transducer, you have to also apply one external force to conducting this passive transducer. Okay, and this passive transducer it is also convert non electrical energy into the electrical energy. Examples. In our practical ODN case, there are lots of transducers that are available for the passive transducer. I am I am given one example. That means when you have to measure any flow measurement, that means uh, a pipe, that is a water is passing through the F1 pipe, okay, or water is flowing from the tap, okay. So what is the speed of this tap water or what is the speed of the water into the pipe? So this speed, that means water is physical, physical energy or physical parameters. That is a non-electrical device. It is flow one side to the another. And using the different types of uh, flow transducer, that means when you have to details in given in the flow measurement, you have to know just name is orifice plate, venturi, venturi tube, uh, rotameter, okay. These are the different types of transducer we have to use for the passive transducer. So this passive transducer, it is basically senses the non-electrical energy or physical energy. It is measured by the transducer. Then this transducer, it is converts into the uh, changes in the another energy that is form of either current or voltage or any resistivity is changes, that means resistance is changes or inductance is changes. Okay. So this device it is basically called the passive transducer. So just one point is very, very much important. That means this type of transducer. This transducer. Electrical parameter, electrical parameters, that means the resistance, inductance, capacitance, It cause that is the causes. 
change of voltage current or frequency of the external power source external power source okay so this is the basically very much important for the uh, passive transducer okay so this passive transducer it is basically electrical parameter that means resistance inductance or capacitance it causes the change in the into the voltage either it is voltage or current or any frequency of the external power source so this is a basically definition of the active and passive transducer is it clear no one is confirmed again this is मुझे लग रहा है आप लोग मतलब क्लास लिंक को झूम में मतलब ओपन करके सब लोग इधर उधर घूम रहा है या सो गया है ऐसे लग रहा है मुझे इज इट क्लियर ऑल ऑफ यू यस सर यस सर ओके सो नेक्स्ट वी हैव गो दैट इज अनदर एग्जांपल्स ऑफ द डिफरेंट वन बाय वन so first we have to give an active transducer with with uh, principle of operation or typical of uh, application of the active transducer it is very much important note down so this is the active transducer so this active transducer is basically we have to measure using this active transducer voltage and current but you you remember this this output of voltage and current this is very little okay very small output is given by the active transducer so first first examples that means thermocouple this third uh, transducer for it is very important okay in your electrical uh, engineering students because when you have to go in the field work or industry basis uh, any industries so this transducer and sensor it is basically uh, working in the different fields okay so when you have to be uh, facing any uh, in, uh, that is interview so this is basically one of the important topics of the transducer part okay so please uh carefully reading this transducer so first active transducer we have to discuss that is a thermocouple and it is another one name is thermopile so this thermocouple and thermopile it is basically uses for the one minute it is basically uses for the temperature uses for temperature or heat flow measurement or radiation radiation okay so this thermocouple using this thermocouple or thermopile device you have to easily measure any temperature any of the device or heat flow sorry this is basically heat flow or radiation so i am given you one examples when you have to go any any uh, thermal power plant so in this thermal power plant you have to see your coal is burning okay so this coal when this coal is burning there are this temperature it is very much heat okay very much excessive heat is produced so this heat it is not measured by the thermometer you know that this thermometer it is basically uses little changes of uh, temperature that means human body temperature you know that in our human body temperature this is a basically ranges in the 
104, maximum, maximum 104 of the Fahrenheit, okay, degree Celsius. So, so this using this thermometer, you have to measure uh, one little bit temperature. But when you have to any measure for the any furnace temperature or any heating element temperature or any heat flow system, that means when you have to see in the chemical industries, this chemical industries there are uh, temperature of the different flow, the fluid flow it is increases. Okay, so using this. Uh, thermo couple of thermophile, you have to easily measure the temperature of the any device. Okay, so this is the basically thermophile. So, so, what is the basically principle of this thermocouple? That means the development of an um, uh, electromotive force that is the EMF force across the junctions of the two dissimilar metals or semiconductor materials in the junction. So, this is the basically uh principles of the thermocouple or another another number two number two is the moving coil generator moving coil generator it is basically uses for velocity measurement Hello city measurement and vibration measurement. Vibration measurement. Okay, so this moving coil generator, moving coil means here you have to show uh, you know that is a motor, it has a two parts, one is stator, another is rotor. So the rotor is rotated. Okay, you know that. So this this is a basically one of the examples in our active transducer moving coil generator. This moving coil generator, you have to easily measure any 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 velocity measurement. That means the acceleration, that is the speed measurement also, okay? Or any vibration measurement. That means one generator is working. So this is basically vibrate, okay? When it is also working, these are basically vibrate or vibration. So, using this active transducer, you have to easily measure the uh, vibration measurement. Okay. So, this is the basically generating an uh, EMF due to the motion of a coil in a magnetic field. Okay. So, this moving moving coil generator, it is basically generation of an electromotive force due to the motion of the coil of the magnetic field. Number third. Number third is piezoelectric. Piezo electric effect or piston or, or piston. It is basically uses for sound measurement vibration measurement, acceleration, acceleration, pressure variation, etc. So, using this piezoelectric crystal, it is basically classified under the uh, active transducer part. So, it is uses for the sound measurement, any device, or microphone, then vibration measurement, acceleration, that means the speed measurement, acceleration, then pressure variation, any pressure variations, okay? So, you have to use this one experiment, that means uh, it is a low pressure or high pressure. So, this using this piezoelectric crystal or piezoelectric effect, you have to easily measure these pressure variations, okay? Is it okay, all of you? No one is response. This is very, very bad. No one is response. Yes, sir. Okay. Another, number four. This is a photovoltaic cell. Photovoltaic cell. Photovoltaic cell it is basically used for 
लाइट मीटर लाइट मीटर और एंड एंड ऑल्सो इट इज यूज सोलर सेल टेक्नोलॉजी ओके सो दिस फोटो वोल्टाइक सेल यू नो दैट व्हाट इज अ फोटो वोल्टाइक यू हैव टू सी दैट इज अ सोलर सेल सो ड्यूरिंग द डे टाइम दैट मींस सन इज राइजेस सो द लाइट इज फॉलोइंग इनटू द सोलर सेल एंड देन दिस सोलर सेल इट इज आल्सो वर्किंग यूजिंग दिस लाइट और हीट एनर्जी this is converted to the electrical energy so using this photovoltaic cell you have to easily use uh, that technology as well and it is also uses light meter also okay so this is basically photovoltaic cell basically uh, principles of the it generates the voltage in a semiconductor junction of the any device that is a pn junction device when the radiant energy stimulates the cell that means the solar light that is sunlight it is falling into the photovoltaic cell and that time the cell it is energized or cell it is heated so this is basically called the photovoltaic cell is it clear so it is very much important so please take his uh, screenshot these are basically classified under the passive transistor now we have to go the passive transistor so in our passive transistor there are lots of examples i am given one by one passive transistor so passive transistor you know that definition it is changes non electrical energy to the electrical energy with external sources so this is the basically passive transistor so first we have to known the resistance that is the it is uses for the, for the resistance measurement of any changes in resistance okay so using this resistance we have to one by one that is first one one minute just which my white board is slightly disturbed first is potentiometer सर स्क्रीन ऑफ हो गया सर ओके सो दिस पैसिव ट्रांसड्यूसर पार्ट दैट इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट इज रेजिस्टेंस so first we have to measurement the uh, using the passive transducer part for the sir so screen aapka nahi dikh raha okay just wait uh, screen is slightly disturbing just wait just wait okay this potential first is potential okay so this potential meter it is basically classified under the 
the passive transducer part it is changes the resistance changes the resistance so that means it is uses pressure uses for pressure displacement pressure measurement uh, displacement measurement position measurement position measurement okay so this potentiometer it is basically variation of the resistance in a potentiometer or any bridge circuit you know that bridge circuit that is a half wave bridge circuit or full wave bridge circuit or center tap bridge center tap full wave bridge circuit so this bridge circuit it is due to the positioning by a slight contact by the external force using this potentiometer you have to use just different types of pressure measurement different types of displacement measurement or any position measurement okay so this is the basically uh, passive transducer examples for the potential number 2 resistance strain gauge this is another important resistance strain gauge it is basically used as for force measurement torque torque measurement or displacement measurement etc okay so using this resistance strain gauge variation is variation of the different resistance of a wire or in a semiconductor material by elongation of the compression due to the externally applied stresses so using this resistance strain gauge you have to easily measure for the force measurement torque measurement or displacement measurement okay so this is the basically categories under the uh, passive transducer and it is basically changes the resistance next number third that is a hot watt meter or pirani gauge sometimes it is also called pirani meter just wait my wife for this light to disturb in the game number third is pirani gauge or hot wear meter okay it is used for the gas flow measurement or gas pressure gas flow measurement or gas meter gas pressure okay so this pirani gauge or hot wire well meter it is basically variation the different resistance of the heating element by the convection cooling system of a gas when the any 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 industrial purpose that is where the what gas is fluid flow from one section to the another section 
or any any uh, pressure is measurement for the gaseous element so using this gauge that is a pirani gauge it is very much important one in interview questions uh, what is the gas flow transducer that means what type of like gas flow transducer you have to use for a gas industry so this is a pirani gauge or hot wire meter okay so what is the principles of this pirani gauge or hot wire meter it varies on the resistance okay it varies on the different resistance by a heating element by the converts the convection cooling of the hot gas okay now next number 4 that is the resistance thermometer or pyrometer okay everyone please write your own name and roll number in the chat box also and rahul is present that is regular student rahul please confirm me yes sir Please you take a screenshot of the participant list, and after ending the class, you have to send me. And everyone, write your own okay, name sir. and roll number in the chat box also. Number four. This is the resistance thermometer. resistance or thermometer resistance thermometer or pyrometer again is to stop it. रेजिस्टेंस थर्मोमीटर और पायरोमीटर ओके इट इज यूजेस फॉर द हाई टेम्परेचर और एनी रेडियंट हीट दैट मींस आई एम टेलिंग प्रीवियसली व्हेन यू हैव टू एनी मेजर फॉर द फर्नेस टेम्परेचर ओके सो फर्नेस टेम्परेचर यू नो दैट दैट द टेम्परेचर इज रेंज इज 12 इंक्रीज ऑफ द 1200 डिग्री सेल्सियस दैट मींस द लेवल इज मतलब 1200 degree celsius to the bigger size of the that is a 1500 degree celsius so this high amount of temperature measurement you have to easily use this resistance uh, transducer that is a resistance thermometer or pyrometer okay slightly my whiteboard is not working so just uh, listen it and then the next class we have listen so this Resistance thermometer or pyrometer, it is uses basically temperature or radiant heat. Okay. Another examples we have to given previously that is the thermistor and the uh, resistance hygrometer. This thermistor it is basically uses for the temperature measurement. Another one is the photo conductive cell. It is it is for the uh, photo sensitive relay systems. Okay. so these are the basically classified under the resistance measurement at next class we have to discuss that is the inductance properties of the passive transducer another one capacitance etc that is and another one is voltage and current measurement okay so this potentiometer 